Lubomir Huzar was cardinal of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church from 2005 until 2011. He passed away on May 31st at the age of 84 years old. Huzar was not only the head of Greek Catholics in Ukraine and the world, but also an outstanding public figure and philosopher. His television performances gathered record audiences. An undoubted moral authority for several generations, his departure is a huge loss for all Ukrainians, regardless of denominations. Lubomir Huzar has always been with his people, even in the most difficult times at the height of the revolution. Pray to the Lord as if everything depends on him. Work as if everything depends on you. His beatitude, Lubomir, followed these words for all his life. He was born in 1933 in Lviv. It was there he graduated from public school. When he was 11, the family moved to Europe and later to the United States. In 1958, he was ordained a priest. Later, Huzar moved to Rome. I finished my studies there, and in 1972, I presented my doctor's work and achieved a doctorate. I also joined the monastery of St. Theodore. In 1978, already with the status of bishop, Huzar became the Arhimandrit of this monastery. In 1933, his Beatitude Lubomir returned to Ukraine. First he served in the Lviv Theological Seminary, then in the Monastery of St. Theodore near Ternopil. In 1996, Huzar was appointed assistant to the head of the UGCC and has been its leader since 2005. It was at this time that the UGCC representative office moved from Lviv to Kyiv. It was a prophetic gesture, which turned out to be very timely, necessary and vital, especially in the current circumstances of our church in Ukraine. In 2011, due to ill health, his Beatitude Lubomir had to leave his post. He handed over the leadership of the church to Patriarch Svetoslav Shevchuk, but he continued his active educational work not ignoring socio-political events. War is a sin, aggression is a sin. We can defend ourselves from any attack, not only as a right, but as a duty. If we are attacked with weapons, then we can defend ourselves with weapons. However, the main goal is that there must be no aggression at all. But we do remember the history of wars. Always those who attacked wanted to justify themselves as if they were doing something important. Remember, the German soldiers had a writing on the belt, God is with us. Someone tried to convince them wrongly, but effectively in that they do good. In a word, this is a fundamental lie. He was called the powerful old man and the moral authority of the nation. He endlessly believed in Ukraine. He said, if society will work hard and honestly, its happy future is inevitable.